you want to create a DAP, you get your smart contract ready, everything is fine. But wait, your contract actually need external data to work, like price data or weather data. What can we possibly do about it? Well, let me show you how we're going to do this with Chainlink. But first, if you're new here, I'm Stefan. I'm a Chainlink advocate and on Eat the Blocks, we help Web2 developers get into Web3. So for this video, we're going to use the Chainlink documentation and we're going to look at the page that allow us to get the price of ETH in USD with Solidity and JavaScript and Python, with also an example at the bottom to get the price in Euro. Now, looking at this Solidity contract, we see a first import, aggregator v3 interface. Now, what's happening here is that we're going to call a proxy because the data we want are actually stored on that proxy. Now, where the data come from? It comes from three contracts working together. Those three contracts, they work together, they check the reputation of the nodes, they select which nodes to use, they get data, validate the data, and if everything is fine, the data is stored on the proxy and we call this proxy to recover the price. So now, if we open our contract in Remix, first thing we need is to compile it. So on the left side, you see the compile button. Press it. Okay, everything worked great. Now we're going to deploy it. And if we look at the code, we see the example is using the Kovan network. So next thing to do, we connect to MetaMask and then we need to inject Web3. You can see my address appears right here. You need some ETH on the Kovan network. So you can use uh, ethdrops.dev, copy past your address right here and it will send some ETH to your address. Now, when that's done, we can deploy after it's been deployed, we open the contract at the bottom left and we call the get letters price function, which returns the price of ETH in US dollar. So here we've got 1959 US dollar. Now, if you want to have the price in Euro, there's also another example that we can also open on Remix. Simply what it does, it gets the price in USD, it gets converted and we get the price in Euro. Simple as that. So likewise, we compile the contract. Then to deploy, we need to inject Web3. Then select your contract. We deploy it. And then we open the deployed contract. And there we'll need three elements. We need the base address to get the price in USD. the quote address for the euro dollar and we want eight decimals. We execute. You can shield for a few seconds because Coban is not the fastest network. And right there, we get 2,798 euros. Now let's take a look at JavaScript. Let's open the terminal and let's create a new folder. For example, data feed. Let's move in and open our text editor. I use VS Code, but of course you can use whatever you want. Let's create a JavaScript file, datafeed.js. We come back in the Chainlink documentation. Let's copy and paste that. Now to get access to the blockchain, we're going to need a node provider. So we could use Alchemy, Infura, or whatever. We're going to use Infura because the examples come with Infura, so why not? When you're Infura, you connect with your email and then click on create a new project. I already have a project here. And when you enter the project, you go to the project settings. There you'll have to create an API key. So select the Kovan network and select and copy the first link. And then paste it in your JavaScript file right here. Next, we're gonna need ether.js. So first we need the package manager. So let's do npm init. Then we install ether. Next, I'm just going to do a little change on line nine here because this will give us a result in hexadecimal, which I don't want. So I'm just going to replace it with a function that will allow me to transform those hexadecimals into something that's just easier to read. Now, if I just do node 
data feed that GS, we see 1959 USD. Now, back on our text editor, and in the terminal, I'm installing hardhat, and I execute it with npx hardhat. We got a few choices, uh, take whatever. I'm gonna take the last one, just to get the configuration file. Then, very important, we need to install the chain link library with all the contracts. Then look at the config files, and there we can see that the Solidity version is 0 0.7. First thing, I'm going to change that to 8.7. Then I'm going to create a contracts folder and inside it I'm going to create a new file price consumer v3 that's all. Then we'll copy this code here that's in documentation. Now we're going to compile it with npx hardhat compile. Next step will be to deploy this contract. So we'll need a new scripts folder. And in this folder, we'll create a file, for example, get data price.js. Now for this file, we can get some help from the hard hat documentation. There's an example. And then right there, we're just going to make some changes. For example, instead of token, I'll have price. And then the name of the contract. Price consumer v3. Then in a configuration file, there is only the compiler but we also need the network configuration. We can find that in the hard hat doc as well. I just copy those lines right here and I replace ring B with Kovan. Now we could add the URL of our provider and private key here, but I'll just show you another way, more secure. We'll create a dat on file where we're going to put all our private information. So let's move to Infura and copy past the URL address. And then for the private key, Open your MetaMask. Next to your address, you'll see three dots. Click on it, then account details, then export private key. Enter your password and copy your private key and paste it right there. Then we're just going to call the contract. Let's just add a console.log. And now we're ready to deploy the contract and call the proxy to get the price of ETH in US dollar. All you need to do is npx hardhat run, then where the script is located, and then on which network to deploy. We execute, and then of course it didn't work because I forgot to import ether in the config file. Here we go. Now let's re-execute, and if everything is all right, which it isn't apparently. Okay, I just misplaced our contract. It's not in the right folder. There it goes. And now it has to work. The contract has been deployed. We see our account balance. It gets the last price in an object. And we get $2,023. Very nice, very nice. Now what remains is We've done Solidity, JavaScript, we've done the same thing with Hardhat. There's just Python left. So you can install the Web3 Python library if you wish. Uh, you can also use Jupyter or JupyterLab. But personally, just to go faster for this video, I'm going to use Google Colab. So if you go to Google and type Google Colab, you'll get this. Now, Google Colab is actually for data science. It gives you access to a notebook online. And data science is done for the most part with, you guessed it, Python. So when you enter Collab, you just connect with your Gmail account, if you have one. Then you need to create a new notebook. Once you're here, on the top right, you need to click on connect. Now, I split the chain link example into four cells, but you can do everything in one. So the first step is to install the Web3 library. Very important, the exclamation mark. Sometimes you can see a percentage symbol. In my case, it's already done, so it should go pretty fast. Then we import the Web3 library. Like we did previously, we need our node provider URL. In my case, Infura. Copy that right there. 
We execute the sell and finally last step, we display the price. I changed the code a little bit to get something more readable. And there we have it, $2,023 reduce. And that's it. I hope you liked it and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.